This is Taman doing hello and welcome back to another week of NFL predictions. Last week I predicted week two and today I'm going to be doing week three. So last week I went 10 and 6 on my predictions. This is what actually happened. Man, it was a crazy week. First of all, we had a lot of big quarterbacks getting injured. Big Ben is out for the season. Drew is out for six weeks. Also some crazy games. That Bears-Broncos game, man, that was insane. Lions getting upset win over the Chargers. 49ers look really good. Uh, the Buccaneers really have looked good and the Panthers do not. And man, that Falcons-Eagles game was just insane. So let's go on to week three here. As we'll start Thursday night with another division game. Last week, it was the Buccaneers-Panthers. Today, we'll be going from the NFC South to the AFC South with the Titans taking on the Jaguars. The Jaguars are 0-2, but I think they will be getting their first win. I like Gardner Minshew, the rookie, the Jaguars didn't win, but I think Minshew looked promising, and I think the Jaguars will win a very close game in a division game. Next up, we have the Bills home opener. The Bills are 2-0. They looked really good. Um, their offense seems to be in a rhythm with Josh Allen. He's doing good. The running game is there. I think the Bills will win. I think since he's not bad, but I just think the Bills are the better team. Ravens and Chiefs. I think this will be one of the best games we've seen all season. Two really great quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson's looking fantastic. So is Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to go with KC. I think it'll be close. I just like the Chiefs a bit more. I think this game will be decided by a field goal. Man, I feel bad for the Jets. First of all, Sam Darnold was out for a couple weeks. And then Trevor Simeon's out for the season. Uh, I mean, I think the Patriots are going to win. Um, then we have Texans Chargers. Um, both of these teams, I think, could contend for a wild card, and the Texans have a good roster, but I'm going with the Chargers. First of all, you have DeAndre Hopkins, but the Chargers have Casey Hayward. He's a really good cornerback. I think he's going to shut him down, and plus, LA has a really strong defensive line that I think is going to really expose a weak Texans offensive line. We have a lot of AFC and NFC games. First one here, Falcons Colts. I think this game is going to be good. Um, yes, the Falcons did beat the Eagles, and they had some good offensive plays, but Matt Ryan also turned the ball over a lot. For me, this might be a bit of an upset. I'm going to go with Indianapolis. I just trust Jacoby Brissett a bit more. Brissett's had a really nice season, so I think the Colts are going to get a win. I think the Dolphins are going to go 0-16. They just trade away Minka Fitzpatrick to the Steelers. They are obviously in a rebuilding mode. Cowboys get an easy win. Broncos and Packers, two great franchises in the NFL. Um, I do think Green Bay will win. I think this game will be a bit low scoring. I think the Denver defense will make some nice plays, but I just trust Aaron Rodgers more than Joe Flacco. I think Green Bay wins. Raiders-Vikings. I'm going to go with Oakland. Here's why. Is Minnesota's defense good? Is Dalvin Cook amazing? Yes, but I do not trust Kirk Cousins. He looked really sloppy in the Packers game. I think this game... I could see Minnesota winning, but I just trust Derek Carr more. That's what it comes down to. And Josh Jacobs, he's looked good. I think we're going to kind of have a big game. If you guys remember last year, there was a game where the Buffalo Bills upset the Vikings in Minnesota. I think a similar thing is going to happen here. Big men's out for the season, but Mason Rudolph actually looked pretty good against the Seahawks. But I still think the Niners are going to win. I think the Niners are a good team. Their defense is great. Jimmy Garoppolo looks comfortable. I mean, that offense was just so fun to watch against the Bengals. Niners win. And then Sunday night, um, Rams and the Browns. I think this game's going to be really good. And I think Cleveland's going to win. I'm just going off of home field advantage. And I think Odell Beckham Jr. is going to have a good game. I think this game will be very entertaining. A lot of big players in this one. Now for the NFC matchups. Lions, Eagles, I'm going with Detroit. Um, for me... I just think Philadelphia has way too many injuries, and Darius Slay and the Lions defense looked pretty good against L.A. Giants and Buccaneers, so Daniel Jones' first start um, of his career, I think it's going to be a loss. I think Tampa Bay looked good against the Panthers. They shut down Cam Newton and Christian McCaffrey, so I think they're going to limit Saquon in this game, and I think Tampa Bay is going to win at home. Panthers and Cardinals. Cam Newton's questionable to play. Plus, I think Arizona looks really good. I mean, the Cardinals almost beat the Ravens. I'm giving a win to the Cardinals, the first of the season. Drew Brees is out for a couple weeks, and I think the Seahawks are going to win this one. I just think they're a good team. Russell Wilson's had a great season. Seattle wins. And then Monday night to wrap up the week, Bears and Redskins. I feel like for me that, I don't know, I want to go with Washington. I think 
Case Keem's looked a bit better than Mitchell Trubisky. I think Mitchell Trubisky's had a rough year. And I think the Redskins are going to win at home. I think that they're going to run the ball successfully um, with Adrian Peterson. And I think they're going to win. So far, guys, I have pretty much all the home teams winning this week. That's not the only factor, but I think a lot of the home teams will be the winning teams. But I do have a couple of upsets. Raiders over Vikings. Uh, Colts over Falcons. Should be, guys, another entertaining week of football. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time.